In this video I'm going to show you how you can find the vector cross product using a Casio FX991 ES Plus calculator. And the best way to show you how to do this is just do an example. We'll start by looking how you would um, do this on paper. So we've got a vector A, which is 1, 2, 3, and a vector B, which is 5, 7, and 12. So on paper we would write out this twice with i, j, k, i, j, k, then vector A, 1, 2, 3, vector A again, and then 5, 7, 12, which is vector B and vector B again. And we multiply the three diagonals like this and then subtract the multiplications in this direction. And writing this all out like this gives you this expression. Um, the reason it's good to do it in the calculator is it's so easy to make mistakes when you're doing this, you may notice. I had to change that, got it wrong. Um, and that gives 3i plus 3j, 3j minus 3k when you simplify all this. And you can write that as a vector, just like that. Uh, i, j and k are unit vectors. So let's look at how you do this on a calculator. So bring calculator in here. So we're wanting mode 8 is the vector mode, so press mode and then number 8 to put you in vector mode. This asks you for your vectors. So we've got A is 1, 2, 3, let's um, enter matrix, uh, rather vector A. And there's three elements, so we're going to choose 3. And then 1, 2, 3. And then we press shift 5, then data, and now we want vector B. So that's once you've entered vector A, press shift and 5 and then data. And this gets you to here. So we've got three elements again in matrix in uh, vector B. So we've got 5, 7 and then 12. So now we've entered this. We need to save this to the calculator's memory. The button for saving on this calculator is the AC button which is here. So press that. That's now in the calculator's memory. So now what we need to do is get the calculation. So we need to input vector A times vector B. So to get to the matrix, the vector menu, I keep saying matrix, but I mean vector. So shift 5 puts us in the vector menu. So we can access vector A by pressing number 3. That puts vector A here. And then we want times. That's uh, the symbol for a cross product in this case. So if I press shift 5, that gets us back to that menu. And we want vector B, so that's number 4. And then we press equals, and that gives us 3, 3, minus 3, exactly as we expected. So there you've done a vector cross product using this calculator. Hopefully that's helpful, and thank you for